Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Actress Cindy Williams, who played the optimistic role of Shirley on the on the show, Laverne and Shirley, has passed away at 75. And I just realized I when I did some research for you guys that Laverne and Shirley was a spin-off of Happy Days. So with the Fonz and you know Harry Winkler, his character was so fun. But yeah. So Laverne and Shirley was a spinoff of Happy Days, and Williams, she died in Los Angeles on Wednesday after a brief illness, and her children, Zach and Emily Hudson, said in a statement that released to the Associate Press through a family spokesperson, they said, the passing of our kind, hilarious mother, Cindy Williams, has brought us insurmountable sadness that can never truly be expressed. Knowing and loving her has been our joy and privilege. She was one of a kind, beautiful, generous, and possessed a brilliant sense of humor and a glittering spirit that everyone loved. Williams was optimistic and she played alongside of Penny Marshall's wise-cracking character, Laverne DeFazio on the iconic sitcom, which starred them as two 1950s roommates working on the assembly line at the Milwaukee Brewer, Shots Brewery. And I remember my grandmother used to love the show. <laughs> so it used to come on like Nick at Night. And it was really funny. It reminded me of the slapstick comedy style of Lucy Diaz with I Love Lucy. And William says, that when you've confined these characters with attitudes who are in sync and they are funny and charming to watch, you see aspects of yourself in the character's attitudes. So this is an interview that she gave in 1993. She says, usually in sitcoms, the characters you play are close to you. They are beats within yourself that you play really well. So although she might have appeared to be an expert at the Pratt Falls when the show debuted in 1976, she was actually a novice to the sitcom genre. So before that, before she got on TV, she trained in theater in high school and at the Los Angeles Community College. So it was there she honed her skills when she was accepted by the actor's studio, West, alongside of Sally Field and Robert De Niro. So she's a Golden Globe nominated actress who appeared in George Cooker's um, movie, Travels with My Aunt. She appeared in American Graffiti and Francis Ford Coppola's 1970 film, The Conversation. She also auditioned for Star Wars, but she lost the part of Princess Leia to Carrie Fisher. That's something I learned that was new as well. So it was the fateful meeting of producer Gary Marshall, who was Penny Marshall's husband, and Fred Ruse that puts her on the path of skipping down the street, chanting, Shemitzel, Shematzel, Hassan Pfeffer Incorporated. <laughs> so that was the opening scene for Laverne and Shirley. And they brought so much joy to so many people. I remember Laverne used to wear that big letter L, which was her trademark on all of her clothes. And Penny Marshall, who played Laverne, she said in her memoir, Shirley, I just, she said, I like her. She's like a pudgy Barbara Harris. <laughs> she called her pudgy. They, oh my gosh. They, the sizes back then were so different because neither one of them were pudgy at all. But I think she was saying it to be funny. And then they became really good friends. Williams was really um, best friends with with Penny's husband Gary, Gary Marshall's younger sister. Oh, it was her. It was her sister. I'm sorry. They're, they they weren't um, married. They were brother and sister. So my fault. Um, who they met through uh, mutual friends, and they were both out of work actresses when they were hired by Francis Coppola's company to write a prospective TV spoof for the bicentennial. So. Um, Williams, she says they got a lot of comedy writers or people who wanted to be comedy writers. She told the Times in 1995, they wanted two women and we will be assigned a certain aspect of history in America to write a spoof on that particular American history. 
So they've been riding together for a few months when Penny's brother Gary called and asked if they wanted to guest on his ABC series, Happy Days. And so, of course, they both said yes, and they did it, and the rest was history. And then they ended up earning their own spinoff show, Laverne and Shirley. They became household names after 1975. And they went on a double date, actually, with Richie Howard and Fonzie, who played who's played by Harry Winkler. And, yeah, they, you know had the escapades of two blue collar, collar girls and it launched in ABC on ABC network in January of 1976. Wow. <laughs> and it soared to the top of the ratings becoming the number one rated show for the 1977 through 1979 seasons. And yeah, the rest is history. They said that it was a tough show. It was opposite of, you know, the happy days due to the, the headstrong actresses. And there was actually some tension of surrounding her pregnancy. So uh, Williams left the series before giving birth to her daughter, Emily, with her then husband, uh, Bill Hudson. She married him in 1982. And then they got, they had two children and divorced in the year 2000. She said, when it came for me to sign my contract for that season, they had me working on my due date to have my baby. And I said, you know, I can't sign this. So we went back and forth. It never worked out. But actually, Williams sued Paramount TV and producer Gary Marshall for $20 million. And she and she won. The lawsuit settled. And she says everything is copacetic. They had to pay her $75,000 per episode plus a piece of the profits. Wow. She did well. So Williams and Penny Marshall reconciled in 2018 or before, before Penny Marshall died in 2018. And um, she said, you know, it's like an Italian family at a dinner table on Sunday. She said, and somebody doesn't pass up the salary properly. She said, there's always going to be arguments. She said, happiness is the goal. And every time I go to Penny's house, um, I watch TV with her. She's like my sister. So I'm really glad to hear that they reconciled their relationship before Penny Marshall passed away. And, you know, I do. I I love the the friendship um, era of TV, like Perfect Strangers, and there was just there were a lot of of sitcoms, and even modern day Laverne and Shirley with Sam and Cat on the series iCarly with Jeanette McCurdy. So it followed that model. So yeah, I think that they did a really great job, and I wish her and her family all the best. My sincere condolences, and. You know, she's reunited with Penny Marshall and everyone who has crossed over. But yeah, drop down in the comments. Let me know, you guys, if you have ever seen an episode of Laverne and Shirley. It's definitely, you know, classic throwback TV. But she was a great actress. Like I said, it was one of my grandmother's favorite shows. I remember when I was really little watching um, TV with her and my mom. My mom enjoyed it as well. And she brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. And so, yeah, rest in peace, Cindy Williams. You will be missed. Please drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk with you lovelies later. Take care. Bye.